Welcome guys. What is up? Uh, it's been like a couple of week hiatus for me. Uh, me and the wife just got over having uh, COVID. And today is the first time I've been out in the garage in about three weeks. So I had some friends reach out to me today. This is one of the uh, corpse skeletons I did on one of my first uh, tutorial videos, how to uh, do a realistic corpse scene of the skeleton. And uh, pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what I did to uh, hook up the wiper motor, speed controller, and power supply. Um, we wound up getting a whole bunch of these through my wife's work for free. Um, probably about six or eight of them. Uh, speed controllers you get on Amazon, six of them for like 11 bucks. I'll throw to uh, put the link in somewhere in the video. I do have it hooked up to one of the motion sensors right now. So I could uh, control it by moving. And then uh, it's got the uh, AC DC converter, which is a uh, 12 volt, five amp converter. And it's enough to power this uh, wiper motor. So right now I have the, there's a sensor. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little walkthrough on how this is done. So pretty much what I had to do is, this is just like a uh, half inch piece of plywood they had laying around. They brought me all the stuff. I gave them the uh, wiper motor a few years ago. They wanted it to look like it was kind of like coming out of the ground. When I first started, it looked like it was humping the ground, which I thought was hilarious. But I went ahead and uh, took the heat gun to the back of the head. Let me turn on the light here. So this is what we got. This is one of my corpse skeletons. So I took a heat gun heated up the back of the uh, skull to where I could bend it. And then I put a piece of uh, one of the mirror hangers that I had and some baling wire to kind of put the head in this position that he's in right now. And I wanted to look like he was, you know, struggling to get out of the ground. They're gonna take this and they're gonna um, paint it black or put some fake uh, turf grass on it or something. Hey, kitty. So r right here is the uh, speed controller. Oh, it's a Amazon bag. And this is what they come in a little bag looking like. Super easy. They have two inputs and two outputs. You got power in and then you got your your lead that goes to the motor and they have to be positive and negative, positive and negative. So what I use is a uh, black speaker wire that's got a red stripe and a black black uh, solid cord. And then you've got your power supply, it's just an AC-DC converter. And what I did, I used the original wiper motor linkage because those are ball joint sockets that are greased up and these attach, there's a ball socket and then a ball socket. And then on the other side is a ball socket. So there's an arm that goes from here to here. And then your wiper motor connects onto this one to a smaller linkage. So when the wiper motor goes back and forth, it spins these back and forth. And that's where your wiper arms go back and forth. So on this one, This motor has got three speeds. It uses one positive and three grounds. So each one is set up for a different speed. You got your, your uh, slow, medium, and fast speed. And what I do is I put it on the fastest setting and then I can adjust it to slow down with this. So all you have to do is turn that on and off and that's what controls it. So pretty easy to do. 
And then of course on there, I have the little light that I made. And then they brought me some stuff to make a uh, motion sensor. So I got it turned off right now. Um, works great. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, call this one good. They're gonna come and pick it up. I just wanted to show you guys a short little video how this thing worked and um, hopefully you guys could get a little inspiration out of it. Now this is just uh, attached right to the spine with a long bolt and lock nut. And then I put another support brace over here because he kept wanting to fall over. So I hooked that to his actual right hip uh, bone. I put a longer nut and bolt on there. And uh, then I just screwed his uh, hands down on the piece of plywood, give him some movement. This one I left loose and this joint, you can see where I tied it up. I'm gonna have to trim that bolt head off right here. But um, I'll just hit that with some black spray paint and this will all get painted. Um, so it was kind of camouflaged. But so that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, this is the one I did a few weeks ago. This is one of the first videos I did. Uh, this is the one that uses the real human hair. Um, it's using the latex caulking. Um, it's got cotton balls, um, painter's plastic, spray adhesive, and the dark stain. So that's pretty much it. So I appreciate all the new subscribers, all the likes, the comments. Um, keep giving me those thumbs up and those subscriptions. I really appreciate it. And, um, hopefully I'll be back soon to show you guys some new stuff. Till then, take care. I'm so nasty. Let me turn you up. See what you can do. Oh yeah. Super angry. Go ahead and turn you off. And that's it folks. That's that's how you do it. That thing took me less than uh probably about an hour to do. It's just trial and error because you gotta get this thing just right now i tried to hook it to the arm it looked really cool but it kept binding up on this linkage on this nut right here and it just kept going tink 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 and i couldn't stand it so i went ahead and so i'm just going to attach it to the to the spine and then he started leaning a little bit which was okay but it was leaning a little bit too much but for what that is this costed probably less than a hundred bucks. And I mean that I get paid to build these for people and it just, just depends on how much time I have into it. They brought me all the supplies. I have the, I use the wiring, you know, my wiring, my screws, nuts and bolts and hardware and stuff like that, which isn't a big deal. They brought me the plywood. Um, I gave them the motor a couple years ago and they supplied me everything else. I went ahead and did that. Uh, skeleton for them. Yeah, this is the one I put the uh, you put your finger all the way up into the skull. So I always say when you corpse a skeleton, take a heat gun to the inside of that mouth. Please, people, it makes it like such a big difference, such a huge difference. And then you can get those teeth really detailed. So everything here I've made, including this light base. That was an old lamp I found on the side of the road. The bulb socket actually came from one of these motion sensors. And now I have two more right here and I can attach that if I wanted to, I could attach that on here so he could have his own light and then it'll get hooked up to the, uh, the motion sensor to where when somebody walks by, it'll be motion activated, light activated. And then you could also add a strobe light on there. So you could plug three different things onto the end of that cord so make sure you check out my video, how to build these cheap uh, motion sensors. Cause this is the real reason I, I use them is to turn on and off my motion activated props and uh, lighting or, or sound effects. So 
definitely check out the channel and I appreciate everybody and the, uh, all the new subscribers out there and, uh, give me a like and a thumbs up and hit that subscription button. I appreciate all the love out there. And, um, now that I'm doing better, hopefully I'll get back into it and start making some new stuff. But for an hour's work, tinkering in the garage, I think it came out pretty good. It's going to look real nice when it's out in the yard. Um, it's real easy to do, you guys. Just get out there and do it, you know. You know, they don't build themselves. You got to go out there and do the work. So, uh, thanks for hanging out. It's a short little video. Doing a little tinkering out in the garage. So, appreciate you guys, and uh, see you next time.